the integral test says if f of x, which is a function, is continuous, c o n t means continuous, positive, so it always has good mood, and decreasing decreasing so it's going down decreases the outputs all the time is smaller and smaller on the given interval it's called k to infinity some kind of number k and we're going to connect the dots literally f of n will match us with coefficients a sub n remember we're connecting the dots we were connecting dots in the previous chapters putting function on top of the data so from series to the function then this is going to be very interesting and pretty important one if you take the integral from k to infinity f of x dx and this integral converges convergent or it converges then the series then the series also convergent because if the function converges which is improper integral as you can see here we're taking the areas below the graph it's improper integral we push it into you for this specific reason then the series converge and you can guess if there if the integral divergent then the series divergent too i showed you the idea before if we have fat looking dots of data we, that's intuitive idea behind it is you connect the dots that's going to be the function f at n matches a sub n well you find the integral right so you find the areas the integral takes this area if the air integral is convergent so it shrinks fast enough and becomes a convergent finite number it converges to finite number then this series which are those heights some of those heights also converges. Make sense? That's kind of the intuitive idea. That's you. Like so. That's all you need to know about the integral test. And to be honest, um, we're not really testing it that much. But it's important to know that you can jump between integrals and series. Specifically today, we're going to do it quite a lot. We're going to learn how to differentiate series and integrate series. So we're going to move on. Thank <laughs> you.